Welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video is going to be a shop with me at the bins. Um, now they're very, very strict when it comes to recording and like they'll watch you like hawks. So the footage I got is not great. I already know it. Um, I tried though. And um, I'll, you know, I'll put some clips in there, but again, it's really not great. You really can't see what I'm like looking for, but it does give you an idea if you've never been to the bins, how the bins is. And then I'm going to do a haul at the end with what I got.
Okay, we're back from the bins. That was um, an okay trip. Honestly, it wasn't the best. I've had a lot better trips there. It started off really slow and I was kind of nervous that I just wasted the hour drive by myself, you know, without my kids or anything. And I was like, did I just waste this entire day off of work, off of, you know, momming for a couple hours? So it did start to pick up, um, but it's tricky there, honestly. Also, I'm sorry if I talk with a lisp, I'm not feeling well and I like bit my tongue two days ago and it's turned into like, it's just so sore and like it's like the very tip of my tongue. So like anytime I talk, um, it really hurts, like really, really bad. A lot worse than like you would think it hurts. So um, if I'm talking funny, that's why. My cat, Jeff, is also gonna join us. So I'm just gonna dive into it. I'm not gonna show you guys everything or else we'd literally be here forever. So I might do like a part two haul, but um, I'll show you a couple things that I got probably until my battery dies, which will probably be soon, so. First thing are some Rag & Bone jeans. These are just plain black skinny jeans. Um, Rag & Bone, they do okay for me. I'll probably get like maybe 20 bucks. Anything that I think is like worth mentioning, I'll put down below what I think it'll sell for. And also a lot of this stuff is for my daughter and my son. So I will tell you guys obviously, which is for my daughter and son. Um, but this is just a basic American Eagle, like soft and sexy shirt. I usually pick these up at the bins because they're so lightweight and I typically sell them for like anywhere from like 12 to $15. So I'm cool with that. This was like one of the first things that I grabbed because I was just like worried that I wasn't gonna find anything. It is just a Zara cute little skirt. Um, but yeah, I like get nervous sometimes when I'm at the bins that I'm not finding anything and I'm like, I just have to like grab stuff and put it in my cart. Um, I was obviously excited to find these guys. They're Lululemon leggings. I'm not sure if they're like Align leggings or like what the name of them are, but they are camo. Like, not camo, this is not camo. They're a size four. They're like tie-dye print. I'm sure someone knows what the name of these are. I don't, but I will find them. Um, these are just some blank NYC jeans. I'm gonna try these on and if they fit me, I will probably keep them for a little bit but they look high-waisted um they seem pretty stretchy just you know typical blue jeans this is also something I just kind of grabbed my bins typically have a lot of Zara so um I found a decent amount today but this is just Zara and it's like, oh my god that scared me <laughs> and it's just like this like dr black dress it's like kind of gives me like witchy vibes you know I don't know someone's gonna want it I found this and I'm going to stick it in Mason's room it's really cute it's just like a wall sign but I think it'll look cute on his wall in his room his room that he doesn't sleep in I don't know what this is I don't know why I grabbed it but it does feel very soft like cashmere so let's see nope but it's made in Italy and it's acrylic uh, and kid mohair. Oh, that's sad. Black rose. I don't know. I'll have to look it up. This is for my son. How freaking cute is this for the summer? It's a little bathing suit for him so he doesn't get like, you know, sunburnt or anything. It's a size... 9 to 12 months, which is perfect. That is like the perfect size because he's going to be one at the end of July. That's crazy. This, I wasn't sure about this brand either, but I did look it up. It's the Reeds, um, and I should be able to get maybe like 30 bucks for this. These were just adorable. They're little uh, vineyard vines, little boys, like seersucker chino shorts. They're size 7. And they have like the elastic waist, which I mean, yeah, that's always nice. You get a lot of uh, use out of them. This is also one of those things that I picked up because I was nervous that I wasn't finding anything. Um, it's a very old, 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 we the free. I don't even know what size it is. Like, I don't know what that means. Does anyone know what this means? But it's like this, there's like a freaking like hair thing on it. 
It's like this plum colored blazer and it has like this kind of like detail, like braided detail. I don't know. I probably shouldn't have grabbed it because I'm sure it's going to sit forever. Oh, this is another one I don't know, but the um, tag looked cool and it feels like good quality. It's Object S. I don't know. It's a cable knit sweater or it's like a ribbed sweater. Unfortunately, I found a lot of sweaters today, which is not at all what I wanted to do. I mean, I found some summer things. This is just H&M. It's just really cute. It's like this cute, like mustard yellow dress. These are just J. Crew men's pants. I get these a lot and they usually sell pretty quick for me because um, I think like, especially with like men's stuff, like once they find something that fits them well and they like the fit of it, they're constantly gonna be looking for like that specific type. So I like, you know, getting like J. Crew like certain types of like broken in or like in a certain name because I feel like people are searching for that, especially if they like the fit of it. Like they'll just search it and just buy it. That's what I think. Um, this is a Point Sir sweater. I think Point Sir is from Nordstrom. I could be wrong, but I know I've heard of it, so. I grabbed it. These are just American Eagle black jeans. I always will pick these up for a quick buck, you know? These are for my son for probably next year. They're a size 2T. They're just like cute shorts. He needs more like clothes. Like he wears like pajamas and sleepers all the time. This is for my daughter. It's like a bodysuit. It's a size 6. Um, which is her size and it's so cute. It's called like the little sleeves and I figure she could wear this with like a pair of jeans. <laughs> so cute. She's totally gonna fight me on wearing that, but I'm gonna try really hard. <laughs> and these are also for her for the summertime. They're a size seven, eight and she's a size like five, six, but I like when things are loose on her. I feel like she's just more comfortable. And these also have the elastic waist. So I can always like adjust it to her size. Um, next up is this Ava and Viv Target brand 1X cheetah sweater. This is for my daughter for the summer. And then this is also for her for probably 4th of July. Cute little romper. Um, it's from Walmart, but it's a size five. I'm going to try and hurry up a little bit. Um, this is just a t very, uh, basic, like anthropology um, V-neck t-shirt. This is for myself. I'm obsessed with Bermuda. Um, and this is from Urban Outfitters and like, it's a, my size and it says Bermuda on it and I'm obsessed with Bermuda. So this makes me so happy. Like I am wearing this forever. Um, this is just loft, but it's cute. And this is, I don't even know the brand, but it's like this cute, like cut off cropped NASA t-shirt. Cute. Okay, I got this jacket and it's literally gonna be May, but this is brand, like basically new and it's still selling on Poshmark for over a hundred dollars. It's a J. Crew factory from last year. Um, I don't know if it's down in here, but it is um, this and like, so you can actually see it and what it's selling for. Um, this is a We The Free size small, it's inside out. But once I found this, I was like, okay, like maybe, maybe I can find some things. This is cute, but it's just like an oversized typical like free people thing blouse <laughs> okay i found these toy birch flats um they're in rough shape well maybe not this one's not too bad it is okay just kidding it's pretty bad there's like a lot of wear but like i can't not get toy birch anything 
It also doesn't have the size on it. I think this one's in worse shape, but there's just, you know, wear. And I feel like with Tory Burch flats, like there always is, you know, wear to them. I have no idea what size these are. Sorry. I'll find out and I'll put it here if in case you're interested in worn, worn Tory Burch flats. This is just a Nike sports bra. Oh, this is this adorable Hannah Anderson, like little girl's dress. Are you kidding me? It has pockets. It's cute. Okay, this is for my son <laughs> for 4th of July. Like, I don't know. It's just a polo, like Ralph Lauren. Uh, little cute little baby one, not a onesie. You guys know what I'm trying to say. I'm sorry. I'm so tired today. Eileen Fisher. Again, I'll pick it up anytime it's in the bins because it's in the bins. Um, it's a size extra small. I'm going to do a couple more things. Oh, this is just a Dave Matthews band, like, graphic t-shirt. But I know people, like, want these. Like, if they're, like, diehard Dave Matthews band fans and they wish they went to this concert, or maybe they did go to the concert, and they didn't get a t-shirt, they're gonna want a t-shirt. I don't know, that's my thought process on it. I don't know, but hopefully someone wants this that loves Dave Matthews Band, or just like, wants more Dave Matthews Band stuff. I don't know. This is for my daughter. Oh, wait, is it? I don't know. This is Dr. Seuss Hannah Anderson. It's like a cute little, I think it's a pajama shirt, but it would fit my daughter, so I don't know if she's going to want it or not. This is a kid's North Face. It's cute. I mean, it's like different than like the typical North Face stuff. It's a size large, 14, 16. Okay, I'm going to do three more, three more things. This is just Gap. Sorry, there are three probably not exciting things, but this is an adorable little like summery dress. These are just velvet Victoria's Secret shorts. Um, okay, wait, no, I'm sorry, a few more things. Well, cool. okay, right next to the Tory Burch shoes <laughs> that were destroyed. Oh my God, these are so bad. Okay, I didn't realize how bad these Birkenstocks were. You guys. <laughs> I saw like this part. Not not that part. I saw like this part and I was like, oh, they're in good shape. These are going straight in the trash. There's just no way I can sell those. <laughs> like, no way. But these are cute. These are su Supergas. Um, and they have cute little like palm trees on them. Oh, I'm <laughs> upset about those Birkenstocks, man. This is for my daughter. We're going to Disney in August, so I figure getting all these like Disney stuff for her is good because it saves me money. This is an Urban Outfitters crop top. Okay, I think that's all I'm gonna show you guys today. I have a whole other like full Ikea bag of stuff, but maybe I'll save that for another day. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, I tried to get as best footage as I could out of the bins, but it is difficult there because they do watch you very, very closely. So if you guys like this, um, there's going to be another haul coming in a couple days and probably a what sold video coming up as well. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please subscribe. I would love to have you.